dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message in this video we are going to pray for interfaith dialogue should happen in india to prevent communal violence free secular india this article i wrote on 11th november 2020 and send my this suggestion to our union government through citizens portal mygovernment.in content for this video i given in the description you can go through and study interfaith dialogue will be cooperative constructive and positive interaction between people of different religious traditions that is faith and our our spiritual our humanistic beliefs at both the individuals and institutional level apart from syncretism interfaith dialogue often promotes understanding between different religions or beliefs to increase acceptance of others rather than to synthesize new beliefs interfaith dialogue initiative to engender understanding each other team work or tolerance among us in the dialogue of the head we mentally reach out to the other to lean learn from those who think differently from us in the dialogue of the hands we all work together to make india a better place in which we must all live together in the dialogue of the heart we share the experience of the emotions of those different from us to develop interfaith dialogue in india we need relationship building requires and so visiting each other relationship requires learning about the others history relationship requires an appreciation of the other relationship requires telling the truth relationships depends on living up to our core theological principles and values relationships offer a clear headed understanding of our enemies relationships help us overcome fear relationship requires solidarity pre conditions for constructive and enriching dialogue between religious should have the following as mandatory humility that is causes a respect of a person's view of other religions commitment that is causes a commitment to faith that simultaneously accept tolerance to other faiths interconnection that is causes the recognition of shared common challenges such as the reconciliation of families empathy that is causes someone to view another religion from the perspective of its believers hospitality hospitability like the tent of abraham that was open on all four sides as a sign of hospitality to any new comer in our country on 16th century the emperor akbar encouraged tolerance in mughal india a diverse nation with people of various faith backgrounds including islam hinduism sikhism and christianity i hopefully praying and wish this modi ji bjp government should take these footsteps for well being of india there will be no peace among the nations without peace among the religions there will be no peace among the religions without dialogue among the religions so to maintain religious harmony and peace in india we should bring the channelized communication between ecumenical interfaith interreligious relations in our country under the stewardship of presidents of india chief justice of india leader of opposition home minister and prime minister of india and all states chief minister with all religious leader on periodically every quarter bible talk about religious harmony and tolerance in romans chapter 12 verse 18 if possible so far as it depends on you live peacefully with all religious people matthew chapter 
5 verse 47 and if you are nice only to your religious friends you are no better than anyone else even the people who don't know god are nice to their friends therefore just as your heavenly father jesus christ is complete in showing love to everyone so also you must be complete in acts chapter 19 verse 37 you have brought these evangelist men here though they have neither rob temples nor blasphemed our goodness also in hebrews chapter 10 verse 23 let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering in Jesus Christ. So kindly pray and prophesy in the name of Lord Jesus Christ that to conduct interfaith dialogue should be conducted in India among all religious leaders and sect to bring religious harmony and peace in our country to maintain secular nation under the steward sipa president of india chief justice of india leader of opposition home minister and prime minister with all religious leaders and chief minister of all states every quarter amen